<coughs> I propose, thanks to the organizers and to Rao Chi, I propose three topics, and they choose the most difficult to say in 20 minutes. <coughs> so let's start. This is a, a promise, but we have few minutes to, uh, to visit all the topics. Maybe we can start quick. Artificial intelligence is a broad term, a, a term that is, has decades of history, accumulating every tools, every algorithms, every new things. You can talk about artificial intelligence. For example, in, uh, in the initial phases of initial years of artificial intelligence, the idea is was more hard than today, is to produce software and ancient that are intelligent, hard intelligent. But the history moves up to different tools that are the case. Most of these tools have has the case of history, but now are again as a hot topic. For example, two topics that we will explore today is genetic algorithms and neural networks. But at the end, I want to, to add some critique to this uh, fashion in artificial intelligence. <coughs> uh, something to, to read in the bathroom, for example. You, you got with this book to the bathroom, open the page, and something that is interesting <coughs> you will find. You will find, uh, yes. No. OK. This is artificial intelligence, a modern approach. The Nordic, um, Russell. Russell and Nordic, I don't know. <coughs> well, this is the, the book I read for this talk. One thing that was uh, at the initial of the history of uh, artificial intelligence was to produce board games in an intelligent way. People of my generation, oh, I am so old. I wrote programs using punching cards. Yeah, it's true. Using ABCD in the IBM frameworks. But maybe you know this <coughs> movie, War Games, where a, a, a computer play board games, simulated board games. When you play games, you need to evaluate your moves. Um, possibly, you need to evaluate a visit branch of a tree in different search algorithms. At the, at the beginning of the 80s, one, <coughs> one program defeated a world champion in backgammon. Yes, it was uh, a work from Hans Berliner, that this was the world champion of male chess and a team. <coughs> so I, I have a, a demo, <coughs> sorry, about research, but this demo, I will skip this demo because it's all work in progress. But this demo is still, uh, it has an, uh, another approach to evaluate visiting all the branches of the trees. Instead of having heuristic like the Hans Berliner uh, work, this demo starts to visit all the trees in the backgammon <coughs> with an evaluation of the, um, of the position using a metric, how many uh, cells are far of the end of the game for each color. But uh, the problem with this demo is that this is still too um, slow. I plan to add distributed nodes to uh, paralyze the evaluation of the tree. More interesting is to use algo genetic algorithms. The genetic algorithms, uh, again, has the case of history. But the idea is to have a population of genotypes that are maybe um, represent a solution of a problem. And the genotype can be 
mutated and can be crossover each other to uh, generate a better population solving the same problem. For example, <coughs> at the beginning, you create a population of genotypes, you evaluate every genotype output, select the best genotype, the best individuals, and mutate them for the next generation. <coughs> In this demo, you can create, this is for the browser and for Node.js, you can create the, <coughs> the population to resolve one problem, and then you can uh, add to the population the mutator you choose to, uh, to, um, to apply evolution to the population, and you, in each population, you can choose the better individuals. Let's go to, to run this example. <coughs> oh, sorry. I am the guy using Windows. <laughs> yeah, I, I am. <coughs> yes, this is a secret, a secret program called DOS, DOS uh, a Linux clone from. I am Microsoft MVP, but uh, this is under. NDA, I don't know, no discussion agreement. I need to, to, to erase your memory after the talk. <laughs> <coughs> well, the problem is to generate a path from one corner to other corner. That dots are stones. I am not stones, are dots. But you can see that there are stones and then each genotype could be a path. But the path could have different evaluation depending if the path goes through a stone or not and the distance of the path that, uh, from one uh, corner to another. Instead of generating one genotype by time, I can run a population Oh, sorry. It's not working. Ooh. Oh, it's all OK. Ah, uh, tendría que haberlo dado en español. In English, too. It's working, man. Look at <laughs> Hey, I can stop and get the guess phenotype. Is this path? I could create another world and then explore the population and get the best genotype and, and so on. OK. This is a. Uh, a short demo. Let's go. In neural networks, there is the, the one thing that the genetic algorithm has is that the, the, the genetic algorithm don't, don't know about the problem. Only generate a solution by trying. Neural networks can be trained. An, an artificial network can, is a, a, an artifact that has input. The input has weight. And the weights are some, summit, I don't know. <clears throat> and the, the, the total of the input are evaluated with that, uh, an output for the artificial neuron. You can put many layers of artificial network, and the artificial network can be trained you, uh, adjusting automatically the weights of one layer to another layer. <clears throat> there is a demo that is, has few lines. You can create a network with the, the layers. In this case, in the first line, you create a network with three layers. And you can <coughs> uh, train the network using the, uh, the input and the expected output. How is, for example, this demo? This 
the, uh, um, there are these sheets. I, could, I can create a network and evaluate each dish, each, each, each dish is the pronunciation in English. I don't know. <coughs> and the output are three outputs, or recognize a zero, a one, or a two. The first network produces garbage. But you can train network, and then notice that the network start to recognize the zero, start to recognize the one, and start to recognize the, the two digits. And you can try more times and, and so on. Now, I, I, I actually, there are better um, implementations. For example, ComNet, NetJS, that using a database or a data set of handwritten digits, start to recognize a trinet in different ways, in different ways, recognize handwritten digits, and notice that it's very good in the, in the training. This, this uh, particular library is using something more than neural networks, something that they call deep learning, because they are using new algorithms to train more fast, uh, faster a neural network. For example, it can, it can be trained to recognize image. In the browser on Node.js, but it's not so good unless for the first iteration. You need more time. But you know that Google and other, and other enterprises are using fast graphic CPUs, I don't know how to say, that can be, train, can be used in accelerated hardware to train neural networks. You, you don't need to use only JavaScript. Let's go. Sorry. And the last live demo is something that I like personally. Personally, I like, oh, English is the same in, in two ways. <coughs> is that to, to have an hybrid approach to generate programs instead of genotypes. What is an evolutionary world? Um, You have a world uh, full of grass. The green uh, is the grass. Uh, and you have animals, predators, that can uh, take food from the grass. The predators that has, has um, a random program that say, oh, something in, in, with some way you can eat if something is Random is that number you can move to the left, or, and so on. The behavior of each of the animals is controlled by a random program that can be modified using genetic algorithms. Then, the red animals are the good ones, and the black animals have few energy. Now, run a new generation. Now are more red animals because they, they, they select the best animals in the first generation and generate new animals that uh, uh, notice that there are few grass now because the animals now are, have better programs to, to, to eat and to move in the, in the world. And you have better <coughs> programs and better programs. Each program, each population is generated a best genotype, but this is a program. Not, notably, notably, JavaScript, as least, can modify its own structure. You can modify the program in JavaScript and generate a new program. 
Okay. That is the, the end. But what is the problem with all this approach? It's a soft artificial intelligence. No baby needs to see 1,000 pictures of a cat to recognize a cat. No, no, of, this no of this algorithm knows, uh, has knowledge about the domain they uh, attack. There are only algorithms. We need to explore, like in the initial uh, years of artificial intelligence, <coughs> we need to explore the hard way of artificial intelligence. One thing that we need to do <laughs> is to create re uh, really an intelligent agent that can be uh, not a play in, <coughs> in toy wars, but in a real world, not in a in a simulated world, but in a real world. This is an image, a bad image, but it's an image for the, the book, the um, <coughs> artificial intelligence and modern approach. Um, the idea is to uh, have an intelligent agent or maybe an artificial life agent. You, you don't need to, to pursue all intelligence in one piece, in one step. Maybe the step is to have an agent that is an artificial life agent, instead of having all the knowledge, or all, the <coughs> all the intelligence we have as human. One thing to explore then is no both and related things that really um, works in real environment, not in simulated environment. <coughs> oh, I. I am problem in my voice. Okay, that is the idea of the talk. All the resources, the demo, the project, and the <coughs> and the different um, uh, things I read are in the in this uh, GitHub uh, rep. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>